flow through non homogeneous sections non homogeneous sections if the permeability of the soil if the permeability of the soil changes along the flow paths changes along the flow paths flow paths the flow lines are the flow lines are deflected at the junction deflected at the junction at the junction point of the two soil masses junction point of the two soil masses let us take this is interface and this is flow line this is another flow line and let us have normal to the flow line we will have a line here normal to the flow line it is this is normal that means here 90 degrees 90 degrees this is interface this side k1 permeability this side k2 permeability this is interface interface this is normal normal line normal line to the interface now suppose this is normal line normal and let us have this flow line deflected like this Deflected like this. Let us take this is alpha one, alpha one angle. This is alpha two angle, alpha two angle. This is flow line. This is flow line. This is also a flow line. This one and this one also deflected like that. <coughs> now. Let us trace perpendicular to this is equipotential line. AC is AC is equipotential line. Let us have this is B point. B point and BD also equipotential line. Because this is 90 degrees. Here it is 90 degrees. B B. AC and BD are equipotential lines AC and BD are equipotential lines equipotential lines 
head loss between AC and BD. Head loss between A and B is delta H and also and between C and D C and D is also delta H because these are equipotential lines delta H. Now we know from continuity equation Q1 equal to Q2 that is this is Q1 this is Q2 Q1 is K1 into hydraulic gradient hydraulic gradient means head loss by length of flow length of flow is AB into area area is AC that must be equal to K2 into head loss from C to D head loss that is delta H by length of flow is CD into BD into BD delta H delta H is gets cancelled AB by AC if that is the angle alpha here also alpha angle will be there alpha 1 will be there alpha 1 so AB by AC is tan AB by AC is tan so that means K1 by AB by AC is equal to K2 by CD by BD because delta H delta H gets cancelled therefore K1 by AB by AC is tan alpha tan alpha 1 which is equal to K2 divided by CD this uh, here it is alpha 2 means this angle also alpha 2 so CD by BD CD by BD uh, is tan alpha 2 tan alpha 2 therefore K1 by K2 equal to tan alpha 1 by tan alpha 2 it is the relation between k1 and k2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 is the relation.